Hey friends, I'm still alive. Or am I? There's a lot of bullshit that comes out of this here face hole, folks. And I reckon that's been part of the reason why I've had such a hard time making this particular video. Is that I haven't been honest. I've been trying to be ideological. The truth is, and I've said this elsewhere on the internet, is that I'm really good at thinking about things, decent enough at writing or talking about them, uh, mostly decent at just writing. But when it comes to actually doing things, I suck. Yeah, yep. I really stink at following through on my thoughts, so I try and Hey buddy. Cat woke up. So, yes, I really sneak at following through on my thoughts, so I try and say them out loud to create a sense of accountability. Um, I see this as a big flaw in my character. You know, I've let a lot of people down with my inaction. And even that hasn't really forced me to change my ways because I'm it's like really lazy. I also allowed myself to conveniently perhaps stay away from making videos because I was going through a bit of a crisis of identity guilt where I've been questioning the need for my white male voice in a world that has seemingly been made shittier by white men. And if you are offended by that, I think you might be part of the problem. So we're seeing a lot of pushback from white men, predominantly. A lot of examples, the march of white nationalists down in the States this past weekend white nationalists and all their variously offending forms such as Nazis, KKK, yep, that's very troubling. We also have folks like James Damore who uh, painstakingly crafted a 10-page anti-diversity memo with cherry-picked scientific evidence to support who he thinks should be working in tech. Hint. It's white men. Of course, male politicians, a lot of them happen to be white, constantly trying to strip away women's autonomy. That's wonderful. And I'd be remiss if I left out the new POTUS, who is the epitome of white male privilege, with a heaping pile of delusional grandeur added to it, who is, um, has been doing a great job since he got into office of pushing America towards a new dark age. Oh, it's exciting times to be alive. If you think I'm being melodramatic, it's also likely that you're part of the problem. I don't want to be part of the problem. And I have realized that stepping away from YouTube may not be as helpful as I tried to tell myself it was. For someone like me who's not very elegant and concise, uh, trying to tackle a very complex issue leads to rambling and ranting and this is kind of what I've been thinking in a condensed version, hopefully. So I thought I should step back and just listen to people who don't have the same privilege that I've been fortunate to gain through my my transition. Standing in the background and really listening to other people's experiences and struggles and to their truth is very important. But I'm also learning to hold space for my fellow human beings who are constantly being targeted by Systemic racism, entrenched social 
heteronormativity, the faulty gender binary, like bigotry, and ignorance. I would like to continue sharing my experiences and thoughts on transition, but I also know that my identity can be used to reinforce the gender binary. I understand that my trans narrative is the more easily digestible by the general public who may not be totally up to date on their gender theory. And I know that those people do use my story to invalidate the identities of non-binary folk, gender fluid folk. I would never consciously use my experiences to invalidate the experiences of others. And I, I expect that from the people around me. Having said that, I, I do know that I've made comments in past videos, comments that are made without thinking kind of beyond myself, um, that have been offensive or insensitive. I do recall an instance of being called out by someone who was offended by something I said in a video, and I learned from that. So in that vein, I encourage you guys to call me out if I say something insensitive or uncouth, offensive. Hopefully, hopefully I don't do that. And I will also be checking myself regularly to make sure that you know, I'm not spewing out things without really thinking about the consequences of my speech. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to me go on again. And a uh, big shout out to everyone who sent me a message during my extended hiatus. I'm gonna start thinking about making new videos that take into account my experience, but also don't erase other people's experiences. Hopefully I can figure out a way to do that. That's interesting to watch still. I don't know. Here we go. Improving and it's devolving into nonsense. All right. Peace. <laughs>